Well, now that we're just downright lousy with the resources, uh, let's go, uh, model a bathroom. Nah. 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 Wow, that base is... Oh, wait, that's the one that's on the, probably on the surface, though. I was gonna say, that's way higher than me. This should be really obtainable. This one always looks so close at this point, but... Now I know there's horrible crystal caverns with the worst monster in them. Which really cuts down on their... Accessibility. Kind of keeping an eye out for, like... One last surprise, if I'm lucky. Which maybe I won't be. Inventory full. I gotta use my real one. More gold I don't need. Because while this was a neat landmark, it wasn't necessarily a useful landmark. Just kind of a cool thing. I guess kind of like those tripod monsters we saw last game. Just the wonders of the ocean. But then my gross mind is like, yeah, but how do I exploit it for progress? What am I supposed to do with beauty? Pave over it? You know what we should do? We should pave paradise and put up a parking lot. People that say you don't know what you got till it's gone haven't made 100k in a week. <laughs> I need to empty out some of the space if I want to keep drilling. I actually wonder if I lost some of the stuff I drilled due to the parent apparently my inventory being full up. There's more titanium. I have the somewhat terrifying realization that if I read three data notebook entry things per episode, it would take me 20 episodes to get caught up if I had 60. And I have more than 60. I have like 70. And I'm gonna keep finding more for the rest of the game. This is how I fall behind so easily. Because I don't ever- I, sometimes I'm just like, I've just done enough stuff this episode and maybe I don't need to read a thing today. It's like, well, that adds to the pile, <laughs> you fool. And yeah, a lot of them aren't that interesting, but they might be. That's the problem. There's a reason why I prioritize, uh, I prioritize fauna. If it's a thing that swims around and maybe bites or whatever, I'm gonna read those notes first, because they're the most likely to be interesting, so at least I can make sure I got those ones done. And then, uh, and then, and then what takes precedence over fauna is... Uh, voice logs and human notes and whatnot. And then also, like, major plot, technology discoveries, alien tech. Hey, buddy. Do you attack on sight? Or only when I attack you? When, when, when do you feel threatened? Do you feel threatened? Am I threatening you? So these seems pretty chill. I guess you have to hit him or something in order to get the uh, defense mechanism he has where he like disorients you. Look at these things. They're like cool trees. That one's a really big one. Uh. Don't like that. Oh, this biome's bigger than I thought. There's another one over there. I honestly kind of thought that might be the only one. Not in general, but here. So as I head back, we'll have some other discoveries along the way. But this one's a little more spicy and dangerous, because there's a big bad boy again. One that I've maybe become a little desensitized to. I can't tell if this game is less scary than the previous one, which it might be. 
I mean, it doesn't have that horrifying dark void area with a glowing, like, kelp or whatever. Which, I hated that. <laughs> the, the, then the soundtrack to it was just heightening how horrible it was. But, uh... Hey, there's a little guy. But what I do find interesting, in addition to other stuff, potentially, is the fact that, like, I did have to beat the whole last game before I started this one. So I might have acclimated a bit over the course of playing the game. Exposure therapy or whatever. Which may have changed my impression of this game. Because I'm playing this game having beaten a Subnautica game before. Still deeply, horribly hate those underground serpents. That's... That's a new one for me. The close quarters-ness of it. The idea that you might be required to try to, like, outrun them and, like duck and cover through a, a single cave in any crevices you can find and keep trying to evade it until you get where you need to go. I hate that whole idea. <laughs> it's not a good feeling. And uh, it's made worse by the fact that uh, when you're exploring a place, you don't know where you're going. So it's, it's a blind rush of just going in, just repeatedly exposing yourself to danger and hoping you can find a, a, secret, a hiding spot again every time. I completely lost the Chalcedony, or whatever the fuck he's called. Chalcedony? This could be interesting. Or horrifying. Or I could kill fish with my body. Ah, it's a heat vent. Yeah, which we knew. That's the premise of the vent gardens. Do I have you yet? I can't even scan it. It's one of the uh, thermal reactor chunks. I'm a little worried this might fry my ship. Just try to stay out of the way of the vents themselves or something. Is that a station? <gasps> a discovery! A payoff! I probably should have gone down the other vent too. I thought about it for a moment, I think. Then didn't. Yeah, this is the big shit. Is it safe outside of this thing? It's not tell it's not telling me I'm dying right now. What are you? Oh. Well that's disappointing. <laughs> Considering the find it felt like. And all it did was turn into some rocks. You know these are scannable. An alternate way out of over there, I guess. Pretty sure I have way too many of most of these things already. Well, that's disappointing. Whenever I find a data box, I think this is it, a big one. And it was just like, hey, a thermal reactor, probably. A lot of rubies. I feel like I have enough rubies, though. I'm definitely just exploring at this point. I have no idea where this is going to go. I'm hoping the lack of crystals means I'm not in danger of that right now. But only time will tell. Tie tonight. What's that? Thermal plant. I believe I have more than enough of. Is it even going in my inventory or is it getting thrown away?
Definitely getting some sounds I don't love right now. But I'm a little hopeful because it feels like a new biome. And I'm still trying to figure out where stuff like the spores are from. There's like there's stuff that we know I, I need, but I don't know where to get it. Just thermal plant stuff for days, I guess. Take a closer look at some of this stuff real quick. I believe I checked this out before. The stuff from by Margaret Space. Keeping an eye on the one direction that's the new direction, the new stuff direction. Because uh, I don't want the serpent to sneak up on me. I don't know if this is connected. There's two ways he could come at me. Yeah, these are just exclusively thermal plant chunks. A thing I haven't built yet. Maybe could. Oh. There's Margaret. Huh. It's kind of novel that I came all the way back via the underground. Like, here I am. I'm back in my home biome. How you doing, Marge? Don't think I need your help right now. Yeah, I should have read into that a little bit more. Once you're like in once you're like one or two hundred meters away from something, you're actually really close to it. I can go home and remodel my bathroom. It's not really remodeling if you're building it. It's not what things mean. At this point, I'm willing to test most things that I haven't tried yet. Just in case. I'm just At this point, I'm paranoid. Because of the spiral plant being a pretty regular looking thing. That didn't seem very important. I'll always be kind of not happy about the fact that I there's the hey there's old sea monkey. I'll always be a little unhappy with the fact that I can't look up directly. So whenever I'm coming out of hole, I'm worried I'm coming straight into a, a monster that is not going to be happy with. Welcome All right. Captain. Those underground caves connected everything. Okay, we officially have enough quartz <laughs> that it's overflowing. Nope, not gold. Can definitely imagine a sorting system coming in handy. Yeah, I have, I have too much quartz. Shit. Pretty hard to have too much titanium, though. I might be filling it up right now, but I'll unfill that rapidly. You doing? Yeah. If I took you out on the road at all, you need repairs. J just friction does it at some point. Let's go make titanium out of wreckage. <laughs> I 
And then I can expand my base. Fluids. <laughs> pretty gross i put the filtration machine in my bathroom and it just seems like it's like i wonder where that's coming from huh hmm what could it mean could mean anything i suppose all right let's get rid of the control room i'll keep it i guess but i don't love the location it's like the place i'm going to use the least out of any place in the entire everything it made me nervous. Pretty sure I can connect stuff on this side. There it is. They make it a little harder than it needs to. It should really just snap to the valid location in those kinds of situations. plop a hatch on this side. Why is that to stick out that far? I don't have the materials for it anyway. Whatever. I was just moving you anyway. There it is. Instantly purple. Full strength is 0 0.5. She it. I'm gonna need some lithium. In addition to a lot of iron. Because this is a decent chance to use one room to kind of exploit how the system works to make sure I'm really good on integrity. No one on the planet has ever had this much integrity. a bunch of integrity. I was going to put another one down, but the location of this thing is annoying me. So let's do the joke. <laughs> so this one won't have, won't have an integrity thing because it's going to be otherwise occupied. Otherwise occupado. Got a fair bit of already cla uh, crafted glass. Hello, my base. This is a very outdoors bathroom. <laughs> ah, pipe. 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 <laughs> I need to craft three pipes. Dang. If only I had brought all my pipes. I specifically, that was one of the things I left behind at the old base. I was like, eh, it's not worth the trip. I could, I could have brought everything with one or more two trips. One or, one or two more trips. But I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I don't need to bring these, like, cre these duplicate creature eggs and this, this, like, entire box of just salt. <laughs> and then pipes. Mm. 
<laughs> if, you're have, if you're having trouble going, just stare out at that shit. Something will inspire you. A little out of the way so, uh, sink. The backing is a little iffy. Doesn't fit super well. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna bother me too much. It's really hard to spot something because that's it's such a busy screen. Toilet, shower, sink, water reclamation chamber, all the essentials. I might put a glass dome in here, but uh, I don't really feel like the amount of work it takes to get there right now. A trash can. Never made one of those yet. We can put signs down in this game. There are so many silly little items that you don't have that much reason to build, but you can. They sure are there. Here we go. I believe we got some rando stuff in here. I could figure out what to put in, in my house. Just don't put them on this thing or you'll never get it back. Unless you delete the whole wall, which I'm I'm not going there again. Framed art is so vague. I generally don't know what these things are. So I put them down. That's nice. This one goes on a little on a little shelf. What? Oh. Sam spy penguin drawing. Thanks for everything, Fred. They think the spy was gonna look like that? That's a Oh. That's brave. I'm not scanning, but I'm guessing maybe... Maybe we use... Oh yeah, the uh, the water filtration probably uses up power all the time. Power restored. All primary systems online. I think this thing might always use power, but it's not scanning at least. I might be able to find local... Let's see. Heat area. This might just take the power out. <laughs> yeah, there are heat areas around. Depending on their proximity, that's very far away. Unhelpful. Nah, I hadn't exactly built this by the heat vents, so we're not gonna get much heat power again. Let's let the power fill up instead of doing that to it. Fred's mustache kit. The things we find. Oh. Weirdly finicky placements. I guess they're afraid of being too close to that. It's beautiful. What the fuck? Are you okay, game? Okay, so it just something's wrong with that wall apparently or the lighting. There you go. That fits nicely in that space. All the exciting ins and outs of base management. You're welcome, everybody. Unless you're unhappy about it, in which case, 
double your welcome. Ha, gotcha. I love a beacon. I don't think that the vents were that worth labeling because I don't think it's going to come up again. I'm not that bothered about the fact that I didn't label those. I'm down to just three spicy fruit salads. I keep expecting it to break when I cut it. Seems you can shave off leaves for a while. There we go. Cap that stuff off and let's go off to another scary place. Did I empty you out yet already? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Now the goal is just to go deeper in that direction. I believe just the direction that the scanner room's pointed in, basically. Yeah. <sighs> Need some water. Ah. <sighs> Let's go, just continue deeper into the scary place. What could go wrong? That could be it? I'm unsure. Oh. You know, I attracted attention, but now I'm not sure I did actually. He just makes that sound. Yeah, so that's the sound to remember. That that really weird sound. It's a very sharp, abrupt noise compared to the long growl screams other other dudes got. Should I care about down here? Have I already gone this far? Maybe. This one didn't seem scannable. Aquarium module. I mean, I'll take the titanium. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Every sound has me looking. More of them down there. Oh! That's a big boy. This is me facing north? I'm a little uncertain about what direction I've ended up going in. Oh, is he coming? Oh, he's coming. Why do you sound like a buzz? Like a. Ah, eh, killed someone.
New Sea Monkey is currently a red icon. Whoops. It might be because I got a. I, I twist around a lot when I'm exploring because I'm trying to look out for stuff. But I think I got off course. Unless this is it. This might be it. This seems like it's it. This is probably the big thing in my map. Definitely was a bit confused when I looked at my map and it said I was going north. I was like, what did you just say to me? <laughs> One of those neat little veins. Okay. Well, titanium won't let me have. Is that a mining situation, I guess? No? <laughs> Don't know what's up with that. This thing's interesting. Goes way up and way down. Omega base. Oh. That's neat and disappointing. We found you already, right? Via that cave, I think, following the lights. Yeah, this is the one that got blown up. Dang it. Yeah, we've been here. That's disappointing. Oh, I had this whole cool structure I wanted to explore and thought it would be something new. I had no idea that that's where that was. I don't think I ever looked up, necessarily. To find out that this place with this cool... I, like, it just looks... Ca if you look at it here from, from here... It all just seems cave-shaped, and you just expect it to be cave-shaped, so I guess I didn't think to look around. But it's a, it's a trip. It's this huge vertical structure. You're floating. And that's where I would have seen one of these kelp dudes, as they roll around. I'm kind of amazed that I managed to hatch one without ever encountering one, because they're not that hard to find. Just hanging. Uh. Seedling lily pad. What category? Exploitable? No. The first stage of lily pad life cycle is precarious as the seedling begins to root itself firmly to the seabed. The seedling is surrounded by a cluster of smaller seedlings to form a lattice branching structures of the mature lily pad. Seedling lily pads require rich soil atop bedrock and constant exposure to sunlight. Yeah, this whole area is a trip. Hey buddy. Oh, he's looking at me. Nope. 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 Did you turn off the waypoint to my vehicle? I think you did. That was trippy. It locked me to... It made me lock eyes with it. Uh, the new version of the Mesmer, kind of. A much less aggressive Mesmer. I had to, like, swim right up to its face for it to give a shit I existed. Alright. This was a learning episode. We learned things about the environment around us. None of them were new discoveries, necessarily. But just kind of new figuring outs of how things connect. Is this a... Uh... It's just a weird light here.
Yeah, it's just broken. I always want to follow these tentacles somewhere. These Doc Ock tentacles. You doing this? We doing this? You're just not very fast, are you? Oh! Land? Okay. <laughs> they are less threatening than you'd expect. Loudly announce their presence, not that good at chasing you. Etc. Oh, did I reset this thing when the power stopped? Are you broken? What's up with the texture on it? What? That was weird. <laughs> Did I hit Q on it at some point somehow? It was like slightly deconstructed judging by the shimmering. Fucking weird. Keep this base powered. Alright. We'll round this off with some reading I guess. Some music and atmosphere and focus. Who would ever do that? Focus. Shameful. Uh, you're supposed to be green. There you go. You're a friendly color. The Arctic Peeper. A fast prey fish camouflaged against the ice. Like the common peeper, it is fast and relatively intelligent, allowing it to survive in large numbers. Researcher notes. Don't like the auto-generated name. Suggest ice clops. Edible. The arrowfish. Relatively small ray species capable of fast evasive maneuvers. Feeds on plankton. The fins on its head form an isosceles triangle, which it can tilt to perform fast and unpredictable maneuvers. Sharp forward fin tips are capable of spearing attackers who manage to catch up. Mostly harmless. Bladderfish. This unusual herbivore appears to be mostly defenseless and bears little resemblance to the other life forms around it. Semi permeable bladder. The bladderfish is able to filter air and seawater into its body cavity through a unique membrane which surrounds its spine like a bladder. It allows it to remove and consume organic particulate caught in the way and adjust its buoyancy. Open-ended vascular tubing can be angled and constructed and contracted to pump out water and achieve low velocity guided propulsion. Largely oblivious to threats and practically immobile at night, its its only identified me defense mechanism is that it's composed almost entirely of water, air and cartilage, so it's just not worth eating unless you need air unless you need regular water like someone does. Assessment, edible. Oxygen may be retrieved from the bladder and added to tanks on consumption. Membrane has applications as a natural water filter. So this is your way of getting uh, clean water when you don't find other ways like plants that you can lazily harvest all the time. You know, you can try to get water out of this thing. Not totally ideal. But yeah, basically it's just not worth eating for most people and that's why they don't eat it. That's its only real defense mechanism. Wah, wah. How the fuck do you eat a fish? I'm sorry, I'm just now processing the idea. Like, how do you eat a fish in your dive suit underwater? And it's like somehow takes the air out of the fish and puts it near tanks? How is it doing that? I have so many questions about the logistics of that. The boomerang, an herbivore encountered in large numbers, found to frequent shallow waters and move in schools. Serrated teeth suggest adaptation for grinding corals. Other herbivores are unable to digest. Twin fins. Unusually, the species' two fins are cartilaginous extension of its skeleton. 
They are less prone to damaging and provide superior propulsion, but are also harder to grow back. The bright blue tips are, are in fact the ends of its digestive tract, where the luminescence of the corals it consumes is most focused. Most active during daylight hours, and prone to flee on approach, the boomerang can more easily, most, more easily be observed at night when its luminescence gives away and seeks the shelter of the, uh, of the seabed. Edible. Generally expect all of them to be, really. Featherfish. This is a short one. The featherfish is a common species that lives in the various biomes. Its coloring is distinct, but also functional. The bright white on its belly uh, of the fish helps keep it safe from predators below, blending in with the sunlight coming through the surface of the water. The hoop fish, like the most common fish in the entire region, I feel like. They're everywhere. Small school mentality prey fish with a unique method of propulsion, a distant relative of the bladder fish. Antenna. Rather than swimming, this life form uses the fine green antenna which encircle its body to alter the composition of the water in front of it, allowing it to sail into low density space created. Purple green coloration. Maybe a camouflage adaptation for mid-range light wavelengths, possibly indicating that hoop fish is more active at dawn and dusk. Behavior. While schools of hoop fish will perform periodically and evade predators in mass, this behavior is more social than defensive. The lone hoop fish is often found hunting for food and displaying generally curious behavior. That's a dangerous thing for a prey fish. Sure it turns out great for them. Don't worry.